how would you like to send a survey email after X amount of days once you've sold something on your job form? Well, that is possible with some integrations. Let me show you how on this video. So let's go and jump over to my desktop. Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to send out a survey email after X amount of days once you've sold the product on Job Form. That way, you're letting your customers know that you are interested in knowing what they think about the product that you've just sold them. So, what we're going to do on this video is that we're going to integrate with Platform Lean and Pavly Connect to accomplish this automation. That way, after such X days, we're going to send out that survey. So let's get started with Jot Form. What we're going to do is we're going to first create our form for selling, and then we're going to create the survey form that we're going to use for that email. So let's start off by creating the first form, and we're going to start from scratch. We'll select classic form for this demo, and we're going to add some basic elements for this. In this case, we're going to add some form elements. We are going to use the name, the address, the phone, the email, and just for demo purposes, we're gonna use this short text. Let's go ahead and drag it up here, and we're just gonna say um, X amount of sale. Okay, this is just for demo purposes. Um, in this case, so we don't spend a lot of time creating a connection with the store, with the payment gateway. We're gonna keep it simple, but the same goes with the same payment widgets, okay? So let's use this form for the sale, okay? So we're gonna say this is the sale form, okay? That's what we're gonna call it. Now let's go back to jot form and we're gonna create our survey. So in this case, again, let's create a form, start from scratch, we'll use classic, classic form for this demo purpose. And for the demo survey, we'll just add the name, email, and we're gonna go into our survey elements. So let's go and start rating, let's add two of these, let's add a scale, and the input, okay? Let's drag the email to the end. There we go, and First question would be like, there we go. We've just created the survey. We're gonna rename this survey form just so we can locate it easily. And we're just asking some basic questions. Um, this will depend on the type of your product and what you actually want to get as feedback. So in this case, we're just asking simple questions like what did you think about our product? And they'll do a star rating. Did the product work as intended? Was the size accurate? And we'll say yes and no, and just some satisfaction questions there. So like I said, demo purposes, so we don't take a, lot, take a lot of time. So now we have two forms ready, okay? The first form is gonna be the sales form. That's what's going to trigger the survey form after X amount of days. Now, how are we going to accomplish this? Well, for this demo purpose, we are going to use Platformly. And this is an email marketing service. So what we're gonna to do to trigger this is we're gonna use Padly Connect to make the integration. So let's start off by creating the workflow. So in this case, we are going to call it chart form survey cell. Okay, there we go, let's create it. Okay, and the way that Padly Connect works is that there has to be a trigger to do an action. So in this case, the trigger is going to be when a jot form is filled out or when a sale is made on jot form. So let's search for jot form. There we go. The trigger event is going to be a new response and we're gonna use this webhook on our cell form. So let's open up our cell form. Let's go ahead and edit it. Let's go into settings, integrations, and for this, we are going to use webhook. So let's go ahead and search for it, click on it, and this is where we're going to add our webhook. Let's complete the integration. There we go. And something to be aware is that if the form has never filled, never been filled out, it's going to wait for a response. But if that form already has submissions made already, this will populate. So in this case, we need to fill out that form one time. 
So let's go ahead and fill it out with some demo data. Okay, we'll just say George Aguilar and we'll say street and we'll say San Diego, California. I know 210. We'll just make a random phone number. We'll say the amount of sale is $5. And we'll just add a test email. Let's go ahead and submit it. There we go. Now let's go back into Public Connect and the data has been received. The data that I've just filled out is the one that's been received right here. This way it knows what element from that form is going to be used for our action. So the trigger is ready. Okay, now we need to work on the action. Now, who is going to send out that survey form? Well, in this case, we are going to use Platformly. If you have another email marketing service, well, just search for it and make the integration. In this case, we're gonna work with Platformly. Here it is, let's go ahead and select it. We are going to add a contact. Connect, we are going to integrate with Platformly, so we need the API key. Let's open up our Platformly account. We're gonna click on our avatar. We're gonna click on API docs and keys. And we are going to add our first API key. Let's just go ahead and name this for um, purposes that we can find it on later. Let's submit it. This is our API key. Let's go ahead and grab it. And on Pavly Connect, we are going to add that API key. So now it's integrated and, it, and now it can send information to Platformly, okay? So the project ID is Jotform. If you have several projects, well, you will see them listed down here. Select the one that you're going to use. Now, this is where we're going to tie our elements from our Jotform to our Platformly CRM. So it's asking for the email. Where is the email? Well, from our Jotform response. Let's go ahead and select the email field. Here it is. The first name, again, let's find it from our form. Here it is, first name, last name. Here we go. Um, we didn't ask for the company. We didn't ask for the website, so we're good with that. With the address, we did ask for that. So address line one, the city. We are going to tie all these elements with the one they correspond. That way, they it sends the information correctly to Platformly. Oh, sorry, that's a state. There we go. The state is California. The zip code. Here it is. There we go. We didn't ask for the country, and we'll just say USA. Um, that's going to be always the same. That's not going to be variable. It's not going to change. The phone number. Again, we're going to tie that with our phone number field, which should be right here. There it is. We didn't ask for fax. SMS number, we're not working with time zone, segment, we're good. Um, tax, if we want to use a tag, we can make it also not variable. So in this case, we'll just say jot form. That way we know that's where it's coming from. Okay, let's save and, and send a test request. It's been successful, the action has been preceded. That means we are integrated. We can confirm that over here on our CRM contacts. And here it is. It's just been added and that way we're integrated. Now, what's going to happen? How are we going to send out that survey after X amount of days? Well, this is where we're going to automate inside of Platformly. Let's go into automation, my automations. We're going to add our first automation here and we have two options, simple follow-up automation or advanced visual automation. We are going to go with the visual automation and we can work with templates, or in this case, start from scratch. So we're gonna start from scratch. Here we go, and we have the first trigger for this. What is going to trigger this automation? So let's go ahead and set the trigger. And for this trigger, we are going to search for contact is created. So maybe you already got this, but what's going to happen is that when someone fills, well, makes a sale on Jot form with the trigger that we've added, it's going to add that contact to Platformly, and this is going to trigger once that new contact is added. Okay, so let's go into click plus, and first thing we're going to do is add a period delay. We're going to click on this yellow box and set the period delay for this. 
we could set this to minutes, days, hours, and remember that we want to send out a survey. So we want to let our customers use the product so we know what they, so they actually know how to fill out the survey because obviously they've tested it already. Maybe it's something that's super quick. Well, you can work with minutes, um, days, or hours. In this case, we're gonna do days and we can set the amount of days that we want to delay before sending out that survey. So in this case, for example, we'll say that it's seven days, but maybe your product takes three days to ship out or seven days, and well, you wanna give it 14 days for the delay or maybe 30 days, so they have time to test the product. So we'll keep it at seven for now. Let's click on the check mark. Here we go. Next thing what we're gonna do is send out an email. So now what we're gonna do is add, we're gonna select popular, and we're gonna send an email to contact. Okay, let's go ahead and select it. And we're gonna select from our emails that we've previously created. In this case, if we don't have a previous email, we can actually create one. It's, it's super easy. In this case, we'll select my email, and we are going to create an email because we're gonna make a new one because we wanna send out that link where the survey is actually located. So we are gonna name this survey and we're gonna add a subject to it. So we're gonna say, okay. And we are going to add a variable. Here we go. It added at the beginning. We're just gonna remove it and we're gonna add it at the end. So in this case, it's gonna say, what did you think about our product and his first name? So it makes it a little bit more customized and that way it looks more professional. Now. In the email body, obviously you're gonna make something really nice, but in this case, we're gonna keep it simple, but just so you get the, the idea. So in this case, um, we're gonna say about our product. Here we go. And we're gonna add the link to our survey. So let's go back into Jot Form. Let's go back and let's go ahead and search for our survey form. We are going to view it. Here it is. This is our form. So that's the link that we're going to use. Let's go back into platformly email. There we go. And we'll also say hi, and we'll add another variable. Oh, sorry. Added, 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 it added over here. We'll just remove it there. And there we go. So it's going to say hi, first name. And what did you think about our product? Um, and we'll send it out. Obviously, you'd have to write a really nice email, make it look appealing, or maybe give an incentivized um, to say, hey, you know what, if you fill it out, you get a gift card or a coupon code, something like that, okay? So now we're sending out this email and it's gonna have that link where they're able to click on it. So in this case, we'll choose send a profile that will depend on your platform lead. We'll save this email. There we go, the email has been saved successfully. Let's go back into our automation. Let's refresh the email list. And here it is, the survey. Let's go click on next. And there we go. Now this is a basic automation. What's going on right here, remember, like we mentioned before, is that when you make a sale on JotForm, it's gonna send that data through Pavly Connect, and it's gonna integrate with Platformly to add that contact. And when that contact is added, it's gonna trigger this automation, where in this case, it's gonna wait seven days to send out this email where we have that survey form link, okay? So in this case, we'll give this automation a name. Um, we're gonna keep it the category job form, and we are going to save it. Can we allow contacts to re-enter this automation? So every single time that you make a sale, in this case, do we want to restart this? And in this case, yes, for this purpose. And allow existing contacts to enter this automation, yes. Okay, we are going to continue and save. Your automation was successfully saved. So now this has been triggered to be sent. And that is how you would automate. So that way, when you make a sell on dot .form, you're gonna automatically send that survey form to your customers after seven days in this case, but you can set the amount of days you want to delay to send out that survey. Well, I thank y'all for watching and we'll see you on our next tutorials.